Well, sometimes I stop people on the street and say, you know, I'm the doctor, you're sick, you need a base. And I'm the person that can make it for you. It's never worked. Lots of people have made a small electric version of the upright bass, but it's made so that it can be played with a bow, has usually the longer string length and no frets. So I, my instrument allows people who've been playing bass guitar and can no longer, or for some physical reason, and there are numerous examples of that in my customer base, uh, to move to playing in the upright configuration easily, it takes about 20 minutes and they're adjusted and kind of marveling at how much easier it is to play. We had hoped all along since we tackled this that at this stage, we'd have 10 employees and it'd be a thriving business and some part of the family would be interested in continuing it, but it didn't happen that way. So uh, I'm kind of avoiding the obvious a year ago and plunking along and selling a few bases. And my stepson, Joe, came in and said, Lee, you keep talking about retiring, but whole family knows you're not going to. What if I move my business in the back of the shop and push you out the front? Well, that was a profoundly good idea. That has been a gift of all gifts is to have him come aboard. He's not interested in making instruments. He has another whole thing and that's probably even better. It's not a cookie cutter thing trying to make another cookie, you know, here's a, here's a guy with his own ideas and his own skill set and his own fire in his belly and on he goes. And I get to kind of drift away and he said, I'll make you a promise you'll always have a workbench so you can come in and make things. Yes.